It's incredible how easy and fast it is to track nowadays in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're gonna do something like this, then it's effortless. In DaVinci Resolve 18, I'm gonna teach you how to do it today in no time. We have our clip over here on the timeline. And next we're gonna go to Fusion page, click on the Fusion page, Media In and Media Out. So I'll explain quickly what these are. So Media In is our clip over here and Media Out is the clip over here, but with all the effects that are coming here on this pipeline. Okay, so we need to add our tracker here. For this, there are two uh, ways to do it. Either click on the mouse right click and go to insert tool and go to tracking and click on the tracker or the easiest way is to shift spacebar and you have all this uh, tools over here and click on tracker okay so we need the tracker over here tra click add okay straight straight away it goes uh, in between our media in and media out if it doesn't just drag in drag it here and it's gonna go in between. It's very important to look like this. Next, what we need to do is to, uh, to go on our screen over here and see what we have in here. So this is our tracker. You can move the tracker. You see this little square there? You just move the square and it is gonna go wherever you want. So we need to put this on this darkest point here. In order for the tracker to work, it needs to have a very good contrast. It needs to be different from everything else. Um, so you see there is a bigger square over here. What this one does, you can actually make it bigger. You can go like this, change the shape. This one is the searching area. So inside this area, DaVinci Resolve is tracking this small area over here. So the search area is this one and DaVinci Resolve will never go further away from this square over here. Once you've placed the tracker where you want it to be, you can make this square even smaller for, you know, higher precision. But I think this is good. So we've got our phone over here. We've got the square on the darkest point. So this is a very good way to track. Just make sure where your playhead is. So our playhead is somewhere in the middle, just over here, you see? Then we need to track it in reverse and then we will have to track it forward, okay? There's no difference, you either track it from the beginning or from the end or from the middle. And actually think that tracking it from somewhere in the middle is actually better because it makes it easier for DaVinci Resolve to track in small bits than in the whole thing. Obviously it depends how long your clip is, okay? So we're gonna go here on the right and we see trackers. Click on the trackers and you see this is tracking reverse. This is tracking reverse from the current timeline. This is stop, this goes forward from the current frame and this one goes all the way forward from the beginning, okay? Because we are somewhere here in the middle, what we're gonna do, we're gonna track it reverse and we're gonna track it forward, okay? Let's go reverse first from the current frame. Click on it and you see DaVinci Resolve is going going and is tracking my cameras over there. So one very important thing I will suggest you to do, if your clip is in 4K, then go here, all right, and change your timeline resolution to 920 uh, by 1080 because it's gonna go much faster and actually the playback is gonna be much faster, okay? So 1920 by 1080 is perfect. And then if you want to obviously export it in 4K, then no problem, change the resolution and export it in 4K. That's what I do and it's working fine for me. Okay, so you see this is the last frame DaVinci Resolve tracked for me. So what you're gonna do now, get your playhead on the last frame not before, not after, on the last frame and track forward, okay? And from here, DaVinci Resolve is gonna track forward. Depending on your computer, depending on how long the clip is, you know, might take one minute, it might take two minutes, it might take five minutes, but be patient and very important to follow this square and make sure that DaVinci Resolve didn't miss any frame or sometimes if it, the tracking it didn't work then this square is gonna stay behind and it's not gonna follow the movement. 
But if this happens, don't panic. It's all fine. It's all good. If this happens, what you have to do, you just go to over here, right? To this round circle with plus. And then what you do, you just go back to the beginning and you start again. No problem. Okay. Uh, let's check all the frames. Everything looks good. And you see, when you do this, you are checking all the frames and the tracking looks all right. Looks great. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what do we need to do next? We need to add the text to this tracker. But before we add the text, what I recommend you to do is to go over here to operation. Okay. Go to operation and uh, in line with the operation, go and check to match move. So what this means, it means that whatever we are connecting to the tracker is going to track and is going to match the move of all this tracking points. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let me show you how to add the text. Make sure that nothing is selected. All right. Just go here with your um, with your mouse and go on the text. OK, so you'll have this text over here. So you can go here and change your text, say 45 megapixels. Then obviously you can change the color. You can change the font. You can change whatever you want. What I'm going to do, I'll make it bold. I make it bold, extra bold. OK, so you see nothing is happening now because we need to get this point from here and connect it to our tracker, right? Pretty cool. So this is our text over here. So we can move this text wherever you want. You can put it here. You can put it there. It's going to follow the tracking uh, of uh, our phone. So it's going to follow every single tracking point that we tracked. OK, so we can put it here and go and playback. You see? goes over you put it here so it goes and it follows the movement but the best way obviously is to put it here like that very nicely tracks everything okay all right so as i said there is another way of adding text which i prefer actually you can add a better text than this okay just delete this text click delete go here on the left on the top corner and go to, you see you've got tools, open effects, templates, go on templates, all right? Click on edit and go and search for call out. Call out. Okay, drag this text over here and let's go and change the text. As I said, 45 megapixels. Okay, 45 megapixels. Let me go and put bold italic, unlike this one. And then, of course, go and connect, get this connected to the green there. And we have our text over here. Pretty cool. OK, now what you have to do, you see this uh, text over here has a line here and this square over here. Go and connect this to, uh, let me put it there where the flash is. OK, and after this, just drag the text however you want. You see, if you go up like this, then the line becomes longer. If you come closer, then the line becomes smaller. You've got some options over here. The line position, text position, and you've got the line options here, the color, the point corners. I'm going to go in and make it round. So let's see how it looks like. OK, we'll start from here. Boom. Very nice. It tracks really, really well. One more time. You see, it stays with the white point. Pretty cool. Playback is pretty smooth. And then obviously go to edit page. And this is our clip over here. So if you want a smoother playback, what you can do, you can go and click on rendering place. OK, render, put it anywhere. Doesn't affect your export settings. You're just going to render for the playback so you can play it smoothly. So you see, if you render in place, you have to go back and undo that. In order to undo it, go to decompose to original. All right. And go to fusion page. And here we are. Thanks so much, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even better and more tutorials just like this. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.